All right, welcome to uh, today's video. Um, basically, uh, my last video I fitted the Mishimoto fan shroud. I felt that the um, fans weren't really good enough and uh, in testing that has sort of been proved right because on, in hot weather uh, the fans run constantly so they obviously haven't got enough oomph, so to speak, to keep the uh, car cool or at least to cool it down to the level I want. Um, so yeah, I've done some research and I found a company called Revotech that uh, sell Comex high performance uh, fans. They do two versions, the slim and then the high powered. And the only difference is that the uh, high powered has got a slightly longer motor. But um, I had a look at the dimensions and I figured that these would probably work replacing the standard Mishimoto ones. So um, yeah, here's the fan. quite small as you can see so it should fit in place of it you can see the motor is quite big at the back um, it's got a connector already on it let's read what the plate says get that cable out of the way 12 volt made in Italy well Italy is where Spau were made so could possibly be from the same factory you never know but um, yeah I'll fit this onto a Mishimoto shroud which is going to be a bit of a mission because it looks like I've got to take the radiator off to do it properly um, and drain the coolant so uh, it might be a while but um, I'll be back once I've got the shroud off and show you how the fans fit in comparison to the standard right, Mishimoto the, uh, one. Mishimoto surround off as you can see just down there I don't think I've shown it on the video before this is the uh, HKS uh, supercharger oil cooler um, so yeah I've got mine out now the Mishimoto surround um, plenty of room and you can see it just on the floor there and I'll just, just show you so that's the standard shroud and that's the replacement fan so about the same dimensions and slightly lo uh, slightly higher in height than that bit there but other than that looks pretty good I'll get it fitted and we'll see how it goes. Right, so uh, I've taken one fan off and fitted the Revitech uh, fan, which you can see fitted on the left. Um, I've messed up the alignment slightly, but it's not the end of the world, it's minimal. Um, and you've still got the Mishimoto one there. And if you look at it from the side, you'll see if I just push that tight, that this uh, the Revo Revitech one is actually slimmer than the uh, Mishimoto uh, in terms of this width here uh, the mo with the motors it's probably just a tiny bit bigger so that means clearance wise should be fine if anything it'll be a lot easier to fit than, uh, than, than the Mishimoto one so I'm just going to change the last fan um, put some electrical connectors on there and um, refit it all give it a test and uh, show you or well, give you my impression of what I think just about it. the fans up just quickly um, just to explain how the system works I've got the two fans together uh, fed by a 50 amp cable which goes back to a relay at the back of the engine you see just there on the on the bulkhead um, and that's a 100 amp relay and basically uh, I've triggered it to operate off of the standard fan so you see that black wire there that goes to the relay operates the relay so basically whenever the AEM wants the fans to come on or whenever I want the fans to come on via a switch in the in the um, inside the car itself I uh, just push the button it switches on so let's give it a test and have a look at the amp drawer obviously this amp drawer is going to be for the two fans running so we have to divide it by two to get the true reading um, plus my battery's a bit flat so it might not give us a decent uh, value but I can tell you now they're a lot more powerful than the Mishimoto so, so we've got 17 amps there which, uh, which is much better than the Mishimoto and I can tell straight away there's a lot of air coming out of here much more than uh, what we had previously so we're going to get this fitted up it's complete you can see the shroud sitting there um, there's just enough room 
see just down there between the intercooler pipes. It's quite snug on this side, but there is a gap. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm very impressed with them. Um, in testing, uh, the fans run for about 20 seconds uh, to bring the temperature down from 91 Celsius down to 86. So that's pretty successful in my book. Um, yeah, very good. I definitely recommend these Revotech fans or Comex fans. Uh, much more powerful than the Mishimoto ones, but pretty much identical dimensions. Obviously, apart from drilling the bolt holes, uh, other than that, there's not really that much effort to do. You could, if you wanted to be really funny, block these bolt holes down here that are left over from the Mishimoto, but to be honest, the amount of airflow they're going to let through is minimal. Um, but driving on the road, uh, it seems quite cool. Uh, the shroud seems to be directing the air through the, um, the fan vents when it's driving, whereas before, obviously, a lot of it was going past. And uh, yeah, it's been quite successful. I'm pretty chuffed with it. I'm I'm now pretty confident that the car will be ready um, for a track day, and I wouldn't have any issues with overheating. So um, fingers crossed. I have to book a track day next year, and uh, we'll be all ready for it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like to see more.